Okay, Dave Hackett, this one's for me and you. Me and you both had a thing for Ellen O'Neill. But El Ellen O'Neill liked older guys, and so I was out of the picture. She's always called me her freckle face boyfriend or whatever like that, but that's not true. We've only been friends, we've always been professional. Uh, she was my teammate, and again, she liked older guys, and so that, that put, me out of the, put me out of the category. <laughs> Plus I'm married, just so you know. That's gotta be put in there too, so my wife knows uh, she knows Ellen O'Neill and stuff like that, but Ellen and me only have ever been friends, teammates. I, I, I don't want to say that any specific thing helped me with skateboarding. I think it's more if anybody will say it, if you practice long enough, you could ride anything and, and, and do something. But when you do have great products, and to me at that time when, uh, Kryptonics came out, just the, the width of the wheel, the size of the wheel, and how it was perfectly lined up with the narrowness of my trucks for my freestyle board. I mean, you couldn't ask for a better fit. And so, it, it, I mean, I've skated, I've skated in, in, in a few contests where I skated perfect. And that's why I won, but I skated perfect with no mistakes and stuff. So you gotta have the best products. So at the time for me, Kryptonics were just the right width, just the right height, just the right hardness, and uh, just were perfect for me to skate freestyle. That cover of the magazine, a lot of people say that that's one of the most, their most favorite covers of all time. And for me, I mean, if you look how the camera caught it, my shoe is right there. It's kind of like this, me looking at the camera right now. And all you can see is my one eye. It was like that the camera lens was my other eye looking right at me. My shoe was right in front of that. And it was perfect timing the way that I was, uh, uh, the, the way that I was um, stationed and everything like that. So I, I really like that one a lot. Plus, if you look at the colors behind it, the, the sky, uh, the sunset, um, I wish I wasn't wearing a Norco helmet at the time. I wish I would have been wearing my flyaway or my premiere. Sorry, guys. I can't believe I had that helmet on. But who knew that that was going to become the cover? But Goodrich caught that picture right at the right moment. And of course, I was writing all what I was supposed to be writing, Kryptonics, Goings, and my board. Ha, ha, ha. That one always comes out. What was it like being on Gordon and Smith, a Christ-centered company? Back then, man, I didn't even want to hear that. Back then, you know, all I cared about was getting my ro royalty check, my free goodies, and that was it. Wanted to be taken care of. <clears throat> I, you know, I would go in stoned. Larry Gordon knows this. Debbie Gordon knows this. Everybody in GNS knows this. So I'd always wear sunglasses when I walked in and I always felt like they were staring me down. But the whole time, you know what they were doing? They were praying for me. And years later, here I am, I'm a pastor. So I'm grateful for those guys for what they did and what they stood up for and what they stand for today. Yes, guys, come on over here. Get in the background over here with me real quick. Well, the work I'm doing today, you know, trophies was back in the day, but people is what I work with today and, and recovery. I got Alfonso, Richie, and Robert here. These are all lifers. And what I mean by that is that they went to prison for life, not ever expecting to get out. But because they changed their life inside, they were able to get out. And the same way that I have a life today is that I begin to change my life also so that I have what I have today. So I work in the prisons. I work with guys coming out of prisons, uh, people that normally society's not gonna wanna take chance on. So I want him to give a 30 second, uh, just an introduction to who you are. Speak to the camera. Um, my name is Alfonso. And when I was 19, I went to prison with a life sentence for second degree murder. Changed my life in prison. Um, I got out this Thanksgiving um, and I turned 40 and I'm doing great now with the help of Dennis and the program. Richie. My name is Richard Leon. Uh, I went into prison at the age of 20 and got out when I was 35. And uh, I did a seven to life sentence for kidnapping for ransom and uh, changed my life while I was in prison, gave my life to Christ. And thanks to Dennis Martinez, he helped me get out of prison. And Robert. My name is Robert. I was born, I was born on heroin. I was an addict. By the time I was 10 years old, I became a gang member. 
At 16 years old, I, I received a life plus 16 consecutive uh, sentence, and I spent 24 years in prison. I'm recently released with the help of Dennis. I now live in the home that he provides for us and, and gave my life to God uh, several years ago, and I'm here now. And so that's the kind of work that I do now. I mean, there, you can't put a price tag on that. The same way with my World Championship trophy, you can't put a price tag on it. It's priceless. And so this is what I teach these guys. You get a second chance in life. You can't blow it because the next guy inside wants to get out. So that's what I do. We got about 60 guys. We got about 12 lifers right now. That's a lot. And so it's very hard work that I do, and I'm, I'm just blessed to be doing it.